What we're going to be going over here is our budgeted income statement. So starting with our schematic here on our different budgets, we start out with our master budget and then under our master budget we have our operating budget and I'm showing those all here showing in yellow. And then under again under our master budget we're going to have the financial budget and those I'm showing in blue here. So uh, for our, our income statement budget, it's going to be under our operating budget and obviously it's the last budget that's going to have to be prepared here under the operating budget. So it depends on uh, this income statement budget depends on all the other budgets. We're going to have to have uh, uh, done our sales budget and then on based on our sales budget we would have to done our production budget, selling and administrative budget, and then with our production budget we would have had all our direct material budgets, direct labor and factory overhead budgets, and then those would have flowed into some ending inventory budget here. And then knowing our ending inventory budget and our sales, it would have gone into our cost of goods sold here, and then our cost of goods sold would have flown into our or flowed into our income statement here. So when we're we're gonna be looking at this income statement budget and just understand what's going on with it and what would be included in it. So directly what we're gonna be doing here for this income statement budget, we're going to have to know our sales budget. We're going to have those inputs coming in there. And then our selling and administration budget, there's going to be inputs coming in there from there going into our income statement budget. And then our the other thing we're going to have to know is our cost of goods sold. That's going to go into our income statement. But our cost of goods sold obviously depends on our production budget and all these other budget, direct, direct materials, direct labor, factory overhead, and our ending inventory. And then the other thing we have going on with this income statement budget here is that we're going to have different payment. It's, it's interacting with our financial budget. So from our, our cash budget's perspective here, our sales budget, we would have had uh, collections or uh, revenues here from our sales, and that would have flown into our cash budget. And then going out of our cash budget here, we would have had payments for selling and administration expenses here, and we also would have had payments for all those direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead uh, expenses here. So you can see the interaction here in our master budget and uh, how our income statement budget flows in flows in here. So all our uh, all those budgets that go into our income statement are ultimately ultimately going to go back into the balance sheet budget here. Okay, so let's just go over and let's get the basics here for this income statement budget. So uh, first step here to determine your income statement budget, first step you'd start with your budgeted sales and then you'd have to subtract from that your budgeted cost of goods sold. So that's going to equal your budgeted gross profit. So taking your budgeted gross profit here for the next step, B here, you would subtract from that the budgeted selling and administration expenses and that's going to give you your operating or equals your operating income. Then taking your operating income here for the next step, you would subtract from it the interest expense and your bad debt expense. And that is going to give you your net income before taxes. So then the final step here, you take your net income before taxes, you subtract your income taxes from it, and you're going to come up with your net income here after taxes. All right, so let's just go through an example here. So we've been going through a number of videos here and I've, and on these different budgets, and I'm going to be using the inputs from the other videos that we've been going through here. So looking at our sample here or for our budgeted income statement, and we're just looking at one month here, uh, one month. In this case, March, the month of March. But you'd have to do your budgeted income statement for each of the months of the year here to get a, a total for the year here or, and for each month. So the first thing we're going to look at is this operating income section on our uh, budgeted income statement. So we start with our sales. We'd have had some quantities here times some prices of our products we're selling and that's going to equal some sales, total sales dollars here. So in this case it's one point one million one hundred thousand dollars and then we'd have to subtract that from that our cash discounts and in our example here we had some cash sales uh, that we had uh, a half a percent after everything was calculated out here it had been a half a percent here for our cash discounts and our cash sales and that was fifty five hundred dollars and then we had some credit sales here, again, based on our total sales here, and that was four tenths of a percent, and that would have been $4,400. Uh, these are the cash discounts. So totaling all our cash discounts here, subtracting it from our sales, we're gonna come up with our net sales amount here, $1,090,100. And then 
From that, we would have to subtract out our cost of goods sold. In this case, we would have uh, our cost of goods sold. We would have calculated that to be six hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars. So, subtracting our cost of goods sold from our net sales, we come up with our gross profit here, four hundred thirty-three thousand one hundred dollars. And remember, that was all part of our. Uh, operating income here. And then from our gross profit here, 433100 we would have subtracted out our selling and administrative expenses for $160,000. So that's really all that up until our selling and administration expenses, that's really our operating income. And then from our selling and administration, including our selling and administrative ex administration expenses, we would have uh, from from subtracting that from our gross profit, then we would have had to also subtract our bad debt expense. And in this case, it was that our sales here, we had certain sales, uh, those total sales that we have for the period here that month, and we've had 50% of those we were figuring as 50% of the sales here were going to be included in our bad debt expense times 2% of the sales would be bad debt. So total amount here would have been $11,000 bad debt expense. And then we'd also have to subtract out our interest expense. And let's just say we had a $50,000 note payable, a 12% interest rate per year, and then 12 months per divide that by 12 months per year. So for our monthly interest, it would have been $500. So net, netting uh, all these, uh, subtracting our selling and administration expenses, bad debt expense, an interest expense here from our gross profit, we would have come up with our net income here before taxes of $261,600. Then from that, we would have had to subtract out our income taxes and we'll just say it's a 40% tax rate times our net income here before taxes, 261,600. 261, so that gives us our income taxes of $104,640. So subtracting that from our net income here uh, before taxes, we're going to come up with the net income here after taxes of $156,960. So uh, remember, anything here below, uh, after our selling and administration expenses, any of those numbers here is really part of our net income. And the things we want to look at here, this bad debt expense, and our interest expense, those type, of, those type of expense items, those were not included in our other budgets here. Those, are had to, those were separate from our other budgets that we went through here. So those we have to look, they're not include, they weren't included in our other budgets. What we did have in our, other, in our other budgets here, those net sales here, that was coming from our sales budget. And our cost of goods sold here, that was coming from our cost of goods sold budget. And then selling and administration expenses were coming from our, again, from our selling and administration budget. And then the net income here was our, or the net income after taxes is our, is our budgeted net, is our budgeted net income for the period here. So this is our budgeted net income statement on a, uh, just for one month here. So let's just go match up these things once more with our diagram here for our net sales. Let's just see, that was under our operating income here. And then our cost of goods sold, we subtracted that from our net sales. That was way down here. So you can see you have to go through all these different budgets here in order to get to your cost of goods, to determine your cost of goods sold. Your production, well, off your sales budget, you'd have to uh, des determine your production and under the production budget you have to de determine your direct, and mater direct material, direct labor, factory overhead and so forth down to ending inventory in order to get that cost of goods sold budget get up here. And then selling and administration you can see that was over here. here. That was under your sale, uh, sales budget. So, And then those other items that we looked at our bad debt expense, interest expense, those were separate. Those weren't included in our operating income up until this point. Those went directly into our income statement. And thus, you can see the different flows here that we have here. So ultimately, to get to this income statement, we were taking numbers from our operating budget here. We were taking the sales, we have to work right from our sales budget here. And then we also, that we also have taking numbers or budget of working right from our selling and administration budget and that flowed into our income statement. And then we had that cost of goods sold here 
that flowed into our income statement. We had to get those numbers here. But remember, between our sales here and cost of goods sold, we would have had to determine our production and all our other budgets. And then there was the inner uh, workings here with our financial budget. Remember our cash budget here? Under our financial budget, we had out of our sales, we had collections or revenues that was going into our cash budget. And then out of our cash budget, there were cash flowing or payments that we're going to pay for the selling and administration expense. And then also those cash payments that was going to our uh, materials budget here, direct materials budget, direct labor budget, and the factory overhead budget. Okay, so ultimately we get down to this income statement budget. And remember, the income statement budget, once we have that, it can go into our balance sheet budget. But the balance sheet budget really is under the financial budget here, and that includes your cash budget and your capital budget. That going down into your balance sheet. So ultimately, to get to our budgeted income statement, it is really the ninth budget, I guess, that we have under our operating budget here. And you have to go through all, you have to determine all these budgets here before you can get down to your income statement budget. Okay, so that'll pretty much summarize our discussion here on the income statement budget.